How's it going YouTube and welcome back to the Big Friendly Gardener. So today I'm going to be showing you how to install a French drain. So first of all, what is a French drain? A French drain is a really cost effective method for dispelling water on waterlogged surfaces such as mud, grass and things like that. So for example, we're here at a recreation ground and what we're finding is a lot of waterlogging happening where the dump has digged all along here. And when the water waterlogs, when it's got nowhere to go, it will go into boundary properties. So back gardens are getting flooded. So essentially what a French drain does is stops waterlogging. The water seeps through the ground into the French drain and dispels it to somewhere else. You can either move it to somewhere like a ditch, somewhere that you don't mind being waterlogged or to a soak away system. On this project, we are going to be installing a soak away system and we're going to be hiding it in that bank there. So we'll hopefully give that bank a lot of water and the wildflowers will be able to flourish. So what is a French drain? Essentially, it's just a trench. In that trench, you line the trench with fabric, then a piece of gravel and then perforated pipe, again with fabric around it. And then once you've got your pipe in there, top it all up with gravel, a little bit of soil and then your turf or seed on top. OK, so as you can see, this area is the area that gets quite waterlogged and when the water is sitting it will seep into the ground hit that gravel flow into the pipe the fabric around the pipe and the ditch will get rid of any mud or nasties act as a filter and it will then with the correct fall travel down there into our soak away so how can you use this at home so if you're getting an area of your lawn that is getting waterlogged you can then put a french drain in and divert it to somewhere else which my parents have actually done. They were getting quite a lot of water logging and uh, my dad installed a French drain and the pipe exited the property underneath the fence into a drainage ditch, which is absolutely perfect. One thing you've got to think about is where is the water going to go? As I mentioned, my mother and father did that, but that's because they knew they had somewhere where the water could go. They had a drainage ditch just outside their fence. However, if you're only getting a small amount of water logging, a French drain will just slow down the process and get that water back into the ground and hopefully stop the water logging. You don't always need somewhere for the water to go, but it is very, very helpful. OK, so we know what a French drain is. How are we going to install it? As I said, we're going to dig a trench here because we've got around 77 metres of drainage to do. We have a one and a half ton digger and a 2.3 dumper. So we know the spec of our French drain. It's going to be 450 millimetres wide, around 500 millimetres deep, and we've got a 100 mil pipe. So all we're going to do is dig our trench to those specifications, 450 mil wide, 450 to 500 deep, and set a full with 1 in 50. If you don't know what that means, comment below and I'll explain it. But basically, we need a slope on that pipe in order for the water to run off. So we'll set our full, so we may have the pipe this end at 400 and then get deeper down there so the water runs off. Once the trench has been dug, line that with gravel, put our pipe in, all our geotextile, which you'll see in this video, and there we go. So me and Aidan are pretty much set up, ready to go. We're just waiting for some ground protection mats. We're going to put them down on the grass so we don't absolutely wreck the grass that we're working around. And then we'll get the videos on and show you step by step how to do it. Let's get into it. Okay, so our ground protection mats are out. So basically we're gonna to have to digger at the front, loading up the dumper, dump or reverse all the way down there, dump the soil and repeat. Obviously in your back garden, you're not gonna to need to go to this extent. You may not even need a digger. However, micro diggers do make the job a lot easier. So we have started and we've done around four meters worth already. That's at 500 mil deep. As you've just seen, Aiden's just run some muck down there. We're leaving the muck down there because at the end we're going to need to use some soil to top it off and then we can either seed or turf it. So it's around one o'clock at the minute. We've been waiting for ground protection mats, equipment and stuff. So we've done four meters in around half an hour. We've had our lunch. So what I do is I think we'll crack on today, get as much done as we can. And then tomorrow I'll get some GoPro and we'll get some time lapses on the go and you'll be able to see us actually doing it. But as you can see, it's mega simple. We've literally gone 500 wide, 500 deep with the digger, putting the mud in that, moving the mud down there. 
And it's the same concept whether you're hand digging it or using a micro in the back garden. You probably just won't need to go as far as we are. We're doing 77 meters worth. But yeah, we'll catch up with you tomorrow and we'll show you a bit more in depth about how we're doing it, but we're gonna crack on. How's it going YouTube? And we are back, it is Tuesday morning. As you can see, we did a fair bit yesterday. We didn't actually start digging out until about 1 p.m. Uh, and we left site at around half three. But we've done around, I th I'd say about 15, 20 meters, which is good. We've got that little way there to go. A massive shout out to my nan, who's a, a big BFG avid watcher and she's made me for Christmas a BFG cut crew hat. So maybe potentially in the future we can get a cool design and sell some hats, but I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think. And one thing I would say as well is we've got a community group on Facebook. You can click up here and join that. And yeah, it would be great to see all the subscribers on there sharing some knowledge and expertise. As you can see here, the French drain ditch is starting to take place. So we've got 500 wide, 500 deep. Some bits and bobs have fallen in overnight, but we can clear that out. I think what we'll do is we'll just uh, get cracking, maybe set up a GoPro and just show you kind of this element of it, digging out and stuff like that. If you was doing it by hand, then obviously you would just be using a spade and a shovel and moving your dirt somewhere. And would you look at that, JW Clark, the absolute hero, Gary has arrived to deliver the gravel is placing it in situ there with laid some ground protection mats so we don't lose half the gravel in mud but yeah big shout out to jw clark if you are in northamptonshire and you need any aggregates or muck away make sure you give them a shout their link is in the description okay so we're pretty much ready to set our gravel into the trench the trench is now fully dug so the next step is we need to line that trench at this point, if you're using the landscaping fabric method, this is where you would line the trench with your geotextile landscaping fabric. However, we're using a pipe that has a filter around it. Again, you could use a fabric as well, but it's not really needed. So we're using a pipe with a fabric filter around it. So once you've lined your trench with your fabric, what you then need to do is put up about 100 mil of gravel. And obviously that 100 mil of gravel is just underneath the pipe so we've got some drainage underneath the pipe also if the pipe does come to full capacity one thing i would say is that if your fall on your trench isn't absolutely perfect you can kind of set that in with the gravel because obviously the pipe is going to be on top of that so if your trench ain't bob on you can get a nice fall with your gravel so we're just going to crack on now what we'll do is we'll load the dumper up luckily we've got a swivel dumper so we can just drive along and line this trench let's get on with it so as you can see here, Aiden's just filling up the dumper. He's obviously watched my latest video, which was how to operate a micro digger. If you've not seen that, you can click on the top right hand of the screen now. Then you'll see me just run the dumper down. And luckily, as I mentioned before, we've got a swivel dumper. So I'm literally just tipping the gravel into the trench and driving along and uh, we'll rake it out evenly in a minute. Ladies, the moment we have all been waiting for. <laughs> so here we're putting on the uh, geotextile filter on the drain. As you can see, it's fairly long. So Aiden's just doing that. I'm just finishing off doing the gravel now. We've got a bit of raking to do. And then the pipe will go in. <laughs> what are you doing? So as you can see the pipe's now in and we've started to backfill the rest of that trench with gravel leaving around 50 to 100 mil on top of the gravel for our soil but yep that's a fairly easy step and you can see, see what's there. going on here as you can see there it's filling up nicely and all we're doing is raking it over we are using the digger to grade it and we're also using the bucket to tamp it down and also to hand tamp with the rake so that's the drain pretty much filled in we've got a bit of tidying up to do and some polishing now what we'll be doing here is we'll most likely be rolling it maybe twice a week just to get that down and after two weeks we'll either turf or seed it we've already spoken to the customer and they want us to seed it but if you're working in your back garden that's what i would recommend just roll it 
wait a couple of weeks for it to settle and then seed or turf it and the uh, job complete and then you can finally enjoy an unwaterlogged garden once again thank you so much for watching the big friendly gardener let me know in the comments if this video has helped you at all if you could like the video i'd really appreciate it also if you could subscribe that would be amazing too but you can click here to visit cut crew's website you can click here to subscribe to the big friendly gardener watch this video which was our last video or here to watch a video that youtube thinks you might like but yeah we're done here bit of tidying up to do but that's the basis of a french drain thank you so much for watching